All right, happy Monday, guys. Um, today for language, we are going to do both lesson and practice together. So you need to go get your language books and a pencil. Pause, go. Okay, open up in your books to page number, I actually don't know what page it's on, hold on. <laughs> Page number 153, I need you to open to page 153. We're starting a new chapter today. And it's all about pronouns, okay? Pronouns are the noun substitute. So you know what pronouns are. I, we, he, she, her, him, they, us, you, it, their, okay? Those different pronouns that replace nouns is really all they do. They, are, they replace common or proper nouns um, in a shorter way, okay? So our first section on page number, we're just going to jump right in. Page 100, I already forgot, whatever page we're on. 153, page 153. If you check it out, um, the title above that bird who is fishing, it is called Pronouns and Antecedents. Okay, so pronouns are easy. Antecedents, really easy. Some different words you need to know, some different definitions. They're in you, they're the blue, the blue um, sentences. Let me show you right here, okay, this blue line and this blue line right there. I need you to star those, actually, because these are really important. You need to remember these from now until forever on. A pronoun simply is a word that takes the place of a noun. Proper or common noun does not matter. And an antecedent is the noun for which the pronoun stands, okay? So let's jump in to make a little more sense. My example sentence, which you have a few of them in the blue box, but we're just going to do the first one. Big Red is a good book. It is about a dog. So if you look at it, what is my noun of the first one? A Big Red is a good book. Big Red is the noun, right? Okay. So what the, um, that's the noun of that sentence. And then the second part, it is about a dog. Okay. Our verb is is. So Big Red is, it is. And our noun of that, our subject of that sentence is the word it. This is a pronoun, okay? It replaces the word, it's talking about Big Red, okay? So Big Red is a good book, it is about a dog, all right? It is the pronoun. The antecedent, the noun for which the pronoun stands would be Big Red. If you just read, it is about a dog, you don't really know what it's talking about, but since they have Big Red as a good book, you know that it is connected to Big Red, okay? Pronouns help us write easier because if I were to say, if I were talking about the story, like in a book report, I think we've worked on this in our book reports before. Big Red is a good book. Big Red is about our dog. Big Red is set in this year. Big Red has the main characters. It gets really old to say it over and over and over again. So pronouns are a shorter, easier way for reading and writing. Okay, so the antecedent is the noun that the pronoun stands for, okay? So let's go down on that page to the think section. You need your pencils, okay? You need your pencils. Think. Well, let's do number one. Each soldier drew his battle sword is the sentence, but I forgot to read the instructions, so let's go back and do that. All of the words in italic print are pronouns, so they already chose your pronouns for you. Circle the antecedent of each pronoun, okay? So our pronoun here is his. Each soldier drew his battle sword. What is his? What is his talking about? What is the antecedent of his? It is soldier, okay? Who drew, who drew his battle sword? The soldier drew his battle sword. So soldier is the antecedent of the pronoun his. Let's go down to number two. I went to the doctor for advice, but he was not home. Your pronoun is he. Who, did, who is he? What he? Which he? Um, look at the beginning part of the sentence. Doctor, okay? It's not saying I wasn't home. It's saying the doctor, he wasn't home. So instead of saying, I went to the doctor for advice, but the doctor was not home, it's easier to just say, I went to the doctor for advice, but he was not home. So the antecedent is doctor for the pronoun he. Pronoun, antecedent. Pronoun, antecedent. They're always connected. Okay? Sometimes pronouns will be by themselves in a sentence, like it is about a dog, but a pronoun has to have an antecedent. Okay, if I were to just say, she went to the store, you have no idea who I'm talking about unless before that I used an actual noun, common or proper, to tell you as an antecedent who she is. Okay, so it is about a dog that is correct. But in order to use when you're writing, in order to use a pronoun, you have to have an antecedent somewhere in there so that we know what you're talking about. All right, that's a quick lesson. Your homework is to finish this page and then let's move on to the back page, okay? 
pronouns as subjects. So flip your page over to page 154, pronouns as subjects. A really important part that you need to know, there's two different parts in this box. The first one is the blue sentence. Let me come closer so you can see. That blue sentence right here, put a star beside it. Because you need to know that the definition of subjective pronoun, okay? Pronouns which are used as subjects. So in a sentence, when the subject is a pronoun, it's called a subjective pronoun. Not too hard, right? And then that green box, okay, so let's start this. The green box over to the right of it that lists the subjective pronouns, this is super easy. I, you, he, she, it, we, they. If you're not sure what a subjective pronoun is, okay, all you do, make up a sentence. I went to the store. You went to the store. He went to the store. She went to the store. It went to the store. We went to the store. They went to the store. Those all make sense. So if you make up a simple sentence like that and you just put in the subjective pronouns, you'll know which ones work, okay? If you say her went to the store, that her does not work. It is not a subjective pronoun. Subjective pronouns are pronouns that can be subjects of sentences. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So let's look at an example sentence, the first one. He and I had pizza for lunch. So first we need to find the verb. That would be had, correct? Who had? He and I. Okay, he had pizza for lunch. I had pizza for lunch. He and I had pizza for lunch. Those are both, those both make sense as the subject in the sentence, so therefore they are subjective pronouns. Good. Let's look down at think A. The instructions say, number one, underline each subject one time. And number two, write noun in the blank if the subject is a noun, common or proper noun, or write pronoun if it is a pronoun. So let's do the first two examples together. Number one, David Brainer was a missionary to the American Indians. What is my subject? Okay, first we need to underline the subject. So we know the verb is was, correct? I'm just going to go ahead and underline that too. The verb was was, okay, who was? David Brainerd was. Is that just a normal noun, either common noun or proper noun, or is it a pronoun? It is a normal noun. Common or proper? Proper. It's somebody's name, somebody specific. Good. Okay, number two. We come to school early on Mondays. What is my verb? What is happening? Somebody is coming. So come to school on Mondays. Who comes? We come. Okay, that's my subject. We is my subject. Is it a noun, common or proper, or a pronoun? It is a pronoun. It is a subjective pronoun because it's the subject of a sentence. So you're just going to write pronoun there. Okay, so these are both pretty easy. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. Your homework is to finish page 153 and 154. Okay, do all. We did some of them together so you know what you're doing. Have a good day.